What's up everyone? It's Friday, the best night of the week because the whole weekend is ahead of us. Um, I have to go to the gym, but I have like 90 minutes before. So I'm just gonna relax as much as I can without losing this energy and work on my drawing a little bit more. Probably put some TV on in the background and just relax until I have to go. It's gonna be great. So as I've said before, adding the ink can be a little bit stressful, but it's also really satisfying because it's I'm seeing all the sketch work finally come into fruition and seeing all the things come together. And it's also when final decisions are made, so it's really like the make or break moment for this portrait. Um, just kind of correcting as I go, fixing some proportions here and there. I noticed as soon as I started the jawline that um, I made it a little too wide. Um, I used myself and some pictures I found for a reference, but I really wanted to do like this angle and I definitely had way too much space between the eye and the ear, so I had to kind of correct that as much as I could without leaving the corrections too obvious, so I'm just going to cover that up with some hair and some shading but it's a lot of fun to do. Um, once I get all the proportions together and the outlines, I'm gonna add in some stronger lines to emphasize the parts that are in light versus shadow and then do the hair, which is one of my favorite parts. And after I do that, that's when I'm gonna start thinking about the details of the necklace, um, her surroundings, whether or not I'm gonna include a background and whether or not I'm gonna include a border. Attention everyone, we're having a moment of silence here for my .005 Micron pen. It's not going to make it through this drawing. It's already starting to fuzz up and lose that sharpness that I know and love. So let's just take a moment to mourn the loss. Let's take another moment to mourn the $2.19 that I'll have spent.
so I pretty much ended up drawing for way more than 90 minutes and I'm on the way to the gym now. So I'm gonna do some lifting. Woo. No, nothing is more gay than the collision and explosion of intra-atomic conflicts of nuclear physics. Um, it's still something new for me. In previous drawings, I kind of let the space on the skin be negative space, um, but I'm trying to move away from that and incorporate um, more shading, more texture, which means that even the highlighted areas are gonna have some light um, stipple and texture. Um, and the only, that way, like the only negative space would be like a truly bright highlight. Um, so what that means is that um, since I'm incorporating more and more dots, even though I'm moving quickly because I want to save time and I don't want my hand to cramp up, it also means that I have to think quickly about where each dot is going, um, how heavy I am with each dot, like how much pressure I put behind it because obviously the more pressure the darker it is and the darker it is the darker that area looks. So I have to be careful about that, also have to make sure that the dots don't start to move in a line or in a pattern because then that kind of takes away from like your eye would move to a pattern rather than taking in the whole image at once. It's a lot to think about and I feel like that can get lost in these videos and in translation that there's so much going into where each dot goes but I, um, I really am thinking about each one as I put it down and uh, also incorporating some hatches and cross hatches to add um, even more shadow and direction. And even though it is time consuming and also takes a lot of thought, it is um, really fun. And it's also, once, once I kind of get used to where I'm putting each dot, I can zone out a little bit. Um, so once I finish up with the face, I'll move into the hair. And since the hair is gonna be dark, it's not gonna take as much thought as the skin. Because as you can see, like on the arm, sort of, even though I'm not trying to make a pattern or a certain line with the dots, I am trying to move them the way like her arm, like in the shape of her arm, like some implied muscle tone there, because I'm sure like, you know, as a woman fighting and like fighting guerrilla warfare, she's gonna have some muscle tone. So I don't want that to get lost. Um, also trying to use the shading to imply like her cheekbones, um, directional light, um, emphasize like the different joints in her wrist and hand. And it's like, it's kind of cool because I even surprise myself with how, um, how much you're ca I'm capable of doing with just like a few lines and some dots here and there. It's really cool to kind of discover that about myself as an artist as I'm doing this. It's pretty awesome. So as I move into the face, this is when I'm going to really have to focus and make sure that it looks right because, you know, the stipple needs to be delicate enough that it's, it looks like this is just her face and it doesn't look like it's something on her face, especially obviously around the jawline because the last thing I want is for it to look like I'm giving her a beard.
again, I am very excited to see what the finished product is gonna look like. And um, I really, since I get so focused on what I'm doing, I kind of stop seeing the full image and I'm just seeing like each dot that I'm laying down and I'm seeing it in parts. So every now and then I take a step back like I'm doing right now and just look at the image as a whole and it's like, wow, this looks great. So I can't wait to finish and see what the whole finished product looks like and bring in some more exterior details like the bullets and the border. Very exciting. At the final moment, I decided to incorporate some Obea symbols and some red to give it a splash of color and I, I'm so happy with how it turned out. So it feels so good to finally have finished the Queen Nanny of the Maroons drawing. I've been working on it just for a couple of weeks, but the conceptualizing that I put into it and the research and all that, it's just so nice to see that come to fruition. And I'm really happy with how it came out. I think this might be my favorite. <laughs> yeah. I think this might be my favorite one to date. My favorite portrait even sorry guys but I just I'm so happy with it it just feels so meaningful because of the ties to my heritage and because of the like outside help I got with it from like my family and um, online resources that I didn't know existed like it was just really cool it kind of felt like a form of self-discovery because uh, as I mentioned when I was like starting this project I haven't really ever read or researched uh, Jamaican lore or mythology which is I can't get over how wild that is because I love mythology so much I mean like mythology mythology I mean you you guys know I'm like I'm a total dork for it I, I don't have to keep going into it I'm definitely gonna uh, keep going with some Jamaican themed myths I've already found a couple more that are really exciting um, I won't talk about it now because then I'll just keep going forever, but I've got the research, I've got the concepts, I'm ready. But for now, I'm just going to say that I'm thrilled with how this looks. Um, I'm so excited to share it with you guys, so excited to post it everywhere. <laughs> I'm just psyched. This might be like the most fun I've had researching something. So let me know what you think of this piece and what else you'd like to see. I mean, I'm doing my own research to come up with new ideas, but it would be awesome to hear what you'd like to see too. Yeah, please uh, like and subscribe. Check out all my various social medias for um, to see what I'm up to, to see my random sketches and the other work that I don't post on here. And I hope you have an awesome week. And I hope you, I don't know, <laughs> have a great week. Ugh, that's me.